Transfer portal recruiting and high school football recruiting never stops. Those two facets of the game perhaps bring the most stress for college coaches. And even though Kirk Ferentz is getting closer and closer to retirement, the Hawkeyes still plugging away on the recruiting trail, getting a commitment on Friday from 2025. Future safety, Drew McPherson out of Loyola Academy in Illinois, perhaps the best high school. I think it's fair to say the best high school football program in the state of Illinois right now in the Evanston area. And there is a relation to former coach, former Northwestern coach, Pat Fitzgerald. We'll talk about Drew and his commitment in just a second. But first, as always, want to give a special shout out to our sponsor, Under the Kitchen. Randy's got some deals with some former Hawkeye football players, including D.B. Cooper DeGene, who's now a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. And so perhaps Drew McPherson will be the next under the kitchen athlete. And these different athletes that partner with Randy, he does a great job with this authentic Hawkeye player artwork. And you can get signed prints from Randy. You can visit him on Facebook search under the kitchen on Facebook. We also have the link in our description or visit under the kitchen.square.site. That's under the kitchen.square.site to inquire about a deal or a print from Randy. Ingle. So the news on this Friday, three-star 2025 athlete Drew McPherson out of Loyola Academy in Illinois and will met Illinois has committed to the Hawkeyes. So what do we know about Drew? Well, he is listed as an athlete according to at least one recruiting database. I think most services have basically said he's going to play safety. He has said as much. He's looking to play DB, specifically safety at Iowa. In fact, according to Elliot Clough of iowa.rivals.com, Iowa is the only school to have offered McPherson as a safety. So that's notable. Why? If you look at his highlights on Huddle, uh, he had 855 rushing yards in 2023, 500 receiving yards. He's a big kid at 6'1", 6'2", about 200 pounds, maybe a little under 200 pounds. Again, Will Met Village in the Chicago area near Evanston. And uh, I mean, I watch his tape and I see a guy who has a pretty good quick twitch ability as a guy who's maybe not the fastest or the most gifted of athletes, but he seems to be a really smart football player, can lower his shoulder pads, is not afraid of contact, again, has that quick twitch. So I'm not surprised that he was getting opportunities at some other schools on the offensive side of the football. Had eight MAC offers I'm not going to run through all of them, but some of the bigger MAC programs like Toledo, like Northern Illinois, Kent State, etc., offered him. Also had an offer out of Army. Always intrigued by the military academies that offer Fordham, Eastern Illinois, and Bucknell, and then some other Power Fives that had interest and did not pull an offer. According to on three ISU, that's Iowa State, Michigan State, Mizzou, Northwestern, all showed interest but did not offer. One of his teammates at Loyola is quarterback Ryan Fitzgerald, the son of former Northwestern coach and legendary college football player Pat Fitzgerald, who was relieved of his duties last year in Evanston, Iowa recently, actually I believe it was just yesterday, offered Ryan Fitzgerald an opportunity at Iowa as a preferred walk-on. He is starting to garnish better options out there as well. Both of those guys visited Iowa last fall. I believe it was the Michigan State game. And that was the game where you saw Pat Fitzgerald also in Kinnick. Again, look at him on tape. Not the best speed, but good twitch. Makes guys miss. That stood out to me. Like he can do a variety of things. He's got good hands. We saw him lay out on a play or two for a difficult catch in traffic. They line him up in the backfield as a running back. They send him out in the slot. Almost looks like a tight end when he's out there. He is not afraid of contact. His team has won two straight class 8A titles in the state of Illinois. So you could easily argue this is the best high school football program right now in the state of Illinois. Had 11 touchdowns last year in 2023, 11 touchdowns for McPherson as an offensive player. I could not find footage of him as a defensive player. My guess is he's not played a ton of DB, although I don't know that. Most guys in high school end up playing on both sides of the football at some point. However, I did not see footage of that. It goes back to what he told Elliot Clough and Rivals, apparently, that uh, 
most schools have looked at him as an offensive player. So maybe some versatility, but certainly with his size, and I don't want to take away from his ability, but lack of speed, I think, in some regards, he's not going to be playing on the outside as a corner. If he's like if he was to play as an offensive skill position player at Iowa, he's likely a walk-on, almost certainly would be a walk-on at Iowa. But he certainly seems to have good intangibles and just a well-rounded player. I was impressed with some route running ability that I saw from him on tape. And uh, my guess is that he's a smart kid. Iowa would not have offered. It looks like Seth Wallace, according to, I believe it was 247. Seth Wallace was listed as his primary recruiter. So uh, I know sometimes when uh, people see a kid like this that didn't have any other Power 5 offers and the best on his list is like Army and then some Mac schools, people are like, man, what, what are we doing here? But Iowa has had a knack for finding these kids, these diamonds in the rough. They've been doing this for years. And if I'm going to trust someone, it's going to be Phil Parker, DB's coach, Kirk Ferentz, and Seth Wallace. Like those three guys right now, top of the pecking order as it relates to Iowa coaches, throw LeVar Woods in there also. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Drew McPherson be a guy who contributes early on special teams. Now he's 2025, so he's got another year in front of him at uh, Wilmette Village uh, at Loyola Academy in Wilmette. So We'll see what happens, uh, but he's listed right now at, I believe, 6162, about a buck 95. So, congratulations to uh, Drew and his family. We'll see if Iowa ends up reeling in his teammate, who is a quarterback and perhaps could help that quarterback room maybe as a walk on to start things out in 2025. Appreciate you tuning in, folks. Please hit a like on the video, and we will talk to you next time. I'm Corey Bratta from the Hawkeye of the Storm.